Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more Magic Arena, and we're going back in for the third time with our four color gate shift brew. So, without further ado, let's get into the games, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're in, and a one lander. In a 27 land deck. Hmm. Sounds so close to being good. If we had a blue source, I'd take it. On top of the Gruel Guild Gate, of course, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh, another one lander. Okay. Okay, I feel like I'm being tortured right now. There we go. Alright. And to the bottom, we just shove the stuff that we're not likely to cast. I think we'll go with a growth spiral. The rejuvenator on three is a blocker, so. I think we will settle with this hand. And it looks like we're up against Esper. Because blue. Um, let's go see Mick Gilgate. See what we can do. Oh wow, it's banned. Incubation Druids. Flood of Tears? Maybe? Hmm. Let's go with our stomping ground untapped, and then we'll just growth spiral. So we're doing a, a good bit of ramp here, making up for the lack of a good hand. <laughs> okay, ooh, our Boreal Grazer as well. So let's just get the Selesnia Guildgate down. I don't think it really matters, to be perfectly honest, which one we go with. We got a Guild Summit. Okay, so we can do Guild, Summit, just pay for it all. Then we can shock in the Grazer, play a Guild Gate, draw a card. Alright. And is it Guild Gate will draw us a card as well? So now we're going to be digging for our Scape Shift effects, basically. Um, we're not quite there right now, but we'll, we'll be there soon enough. I wasn't counting my lands, I think they know what I'm doing. Hmm. Nissa who shakes the world. Alrighty then. Well, our Chandra Awakened Inferno is not looking particularly good right now. But that is a scape shift. Well, we can wait on that. We can go with... I guess we'll draw a card first. Just in case we get something like Guild Summit. And we will tap blue, whatever, and these ones don't matter. Play Guild Summit, and then tap two gates to draw some cards. Fantastic, pass the turn. Alright, let's just not die. Don't die and we should be fine. Teferi, Time Raveler. Okay. Stand by and watch. Guild Summit's done its job, so that's fine. It's their follow-up that I'm a little worried about. Then again, what can they do against Scape Shift if they can't counter it? Hmm. Make lots of lands is probably... Probably the thing they can do. Alright, let's just block a 3-3. Graze has done its job. Yeah, I got a dodge counter magic. Not entirely sure if we can do that. But who knows? Alright. We're if we tap out, we're threatening us getting lethal out of this game, so I'm not too pleased about that. However we can play a re Juvenator. Should have played the Guild Summit first, I guess. I was actually tapping specifically for the Guild Summit. Plaza of Harmony. Well, wasn't a gate, so no punishment there. Play Guild Summit. 
See if our opponent has counter magic. Counters are few and far between these days, so... I honestly don't believe that they would have them, but you just never know, right? Alright, taking nine. Unless our opponent taps out for something big here. She's definitely plausible. Let's try this. Let's uh, let's not try this. Actually, uh, how about that? All right. So attacking first and getting the incubation druid in there as well. Hmm. Selesnia Guildgate. Okay, so we're gonna go Guildgate, draw two. Another Guild Summit. Play Grazer. And slap down another Guildgate. Escape Shift. One mana short of doing both of them. So if they have a counter spell, we lose. But if they don't, then maybe we're in a good spot. We can't really follow up with anything either. Although we will be drawing some cards, so it's important that we do flow our mana all the same. So, I mean, let's just go with that, I guess. See if you got the counter. They do not. All right, well, let's go, shall we? It didn't let me float my mana. All right, so, Field of the Dead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then extra fields. How many can we go? All, all four of them? All right. Tap, please. I'll, uh, I'll draw a few cards and 49 triggers. <laughs> all right, have a board wipe or you're dead. I'm pretty sure that's how this is going. Let's take off full control. How many zombies does that make? Sorry, that was me. Hmm. I think we've got a, a few zombies. This, this seems this seems pretty good. Just gonna put it out there. Yeah, let's get some life, and then let's draw some cards. Hydroprasis, another scape shift. Okay. So, 42 twos. Swinging for 80 over our opponent. I like it. We've got to make some discards here, though. No way. Opponent with a time wipe. Wow. I just got time wiped. Okay, well, get rid of the scape shifts. They're dead now. Uh, let's go... A Boreal Grazer. Elvish Rejuvenator. Growth Spiral. Spare Chandra. Huh. Teferi, you surprised me. You really did. Can we take care of Nyssa at all? That's going to be the big thing. Because she's going to be able to... What the hell is this deck? Well, I'm gates are blazing. There's no doubt about that. Here we go. Gates will be blazed. Uh, let's go with this one. I didn't count my basics. This is going horribly wrong. This is going horribly wrong. I do, 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 do. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. 
Minus one. There we go. To finish you. I have punted this so badly, but at least we get four zombies, right? And draw two cards. So I think we can race a Nissa ticking up on lands. Especially with Chandra ticking up. So they're gonna go get all their lands. For those who are worthy. It's the fun fact about uh, Field of the Dead, it does not really care too much about your board wipes. Like, they've bought themselves a turn by wiping away my 40 zombies, but... You know, I've got 8 power on board every turn that I play a land drop, and we're also guild summiting out more lands. They're going down to 6, I think they shot themselves by accident. So, they're counter punting. I believe that's what I just witnessed. So now we're threatening lethal without actually deserving it. What's next? They've got two, four, five, six mana. And a Teferi minus to draw an extra card. Because I'm assuming the plus isn't really that good. They're going to need to find a way of gaining life, otherwise they're dead in six turns off the Chandra. They've got a Hydroid Crisis X4. Okay. There's a big boy. And then bounces the token. The problem is that I have a minus four here. So we'll kill the Hydroid Crisis. Is the best way to destroy things. And I also have zombies to kill Nyssa. So let's kill Nyssa. Hit them for four. I need a and I guess through fear of death, I should go for something like Hydroid Crisis. So let's go Simic Guildgate. Make four zombies. 16 cards left. <laughs> oh boy. 14 cards left. Yeah, let's make a Hydro Crisis. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, let's do an 8. I could do a 9, but... I guess I might as well, right? Guess I might as well. The 8 and the 9 is just one extra point of damage. But it really doesn't matter. Okay, we want to get rid of anything that's related to my deck. So, Secure its Root, Secure its Root, Rejuvenator... Another Hydroid Crisis, another Guild Summit. Alright, they need another Time Wipe. Which... I feel like they might have. They've got a Nyssa, okay. All the mana in the world. We could do like a Mass Manipulation, pretty huge. Another Nyssa. This looks like a panic. Because this isn't netting mana anymore. This is just making blockers, but this isn't presumably enough. Unless they've got like time wipe now. And then maybe they've got a chance. Bounce my Hydro Crisis. What's next? Time wipe's double white, right? I think it is. And a Hydroid Crisis. X8. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a big boy. <laughs> yeah, alright, we made some mistakes there, but we uh we got the victory anyway. Okay, so against a very much Nissa deck. We want to bring in those mass manips. Definitely. Uh, Chandra Awakened Inferno looked pretty garbage there. Uh, the minus three does literally nothing, so not a big fan of that. Uh, Ixalan's Binding looks pretty sweet. Uh, how good was Cinder Vines? I guess it was alright. I don't think it's game winning though. Um... Teferi Time Raveler stops that instant speed time wipe shenanigans, and we can also bounce lands as well. 
as well as Lyra's and things like that. We just make those cards real bad. And anything else that's bad in our deck? Um, I don't know, actually. I think maybe we had pretty much everything we needed. Let's go down one scape shift, because it's looking a little worse against board wipe at instant speed tribal decks. Um, and we draw enough cards with Guild Summit and Growth Spiral and whatnot to actually find one scape shift, because that's all we really need. The rest are just completely pointless from then on. And maybe... What's the last card? Kind of like Gates of Blaze. I guess it's Arboreal Grazer. Just a 0-3 that ramps. It's nice, but not necessary, I guess. Okay, three lander, oh, four lander, sorry, and rejuvenate a root. So we have lots of ramp. I like it. We can actually field the dead pretty reasonably with this hand, I would say. It's four unique lands. On the draw is not ideal, of course, but make do with what we've got, right? Okay, tap land. And passes. Right, where are we leading? Do we want to just lead with Field of the Dead? Or do we want to hold it? I guess we'll probably go with the Simic Guildgate here. Simic is kind of like our baseline for early game and then a little bit of red for Gates Ablaze and things like that. Two or more gates on that one. So let's get another gate down then I guess since we have no two mana play. Lots of lands, I'd love to be able to play extras here. Arboreal Grazers, Growth Spirals, things like that. All of those are pretty good. Alright, well, two or more gates. We do, so we gain life. And then we'll rejuvenate. And could get Field of the Dead, or we could get Is It Guild Gate to set up our Field of the Dead in hand. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And secure its root. You know what? We'll get Field of the Dead. Since we can secure its root and get two unique gates anyway. And we have the stomping ground. So we're getting three new. Yeah, three new uh, basics. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just. Uh, we're gate shifting from that point forward, so. Pretty good. Opponent can't keep up. I think they may be... I don't know. Maybe they didn't have that hand for this. Maybe they knew Field of the Dead was just a losing battle. Especially since we weren't scape shifting into it. That's definitely uh, a way that we can pivot here is instead of going all in on the scape shift plan, we just go for the value ramp Field of the Dead plan, which is easy enough with rejuvenators and goloshes and things like that in our deck but anyway guys i'm gonna leave it off here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well for more content in the future and if you do want an extra video of this particular deck i do offer as a reward for twitch subscribers patreons or channel members all of those are available links down in the description i do offer a fourth video of every weekly deck series which does include this one so if you're interested in this deck and you want to see more of it then that's something that you can do but completely optional and appreciate everybody who's been watching anyway today thanks very much for watching guys i'll see you all next time Bye bye